Uh, the machine itself is our L220 Type 12. Uh, the L220 is basically our workhorse uh, machine as far as our line goes. It's uh, my favorite and I think by far the most versatile machine we make. Uh, right now we're showing the machine less than we're showing the, some of the interesting accessories we've come out for it lately, including our 12-tool automatic tool changer and the vacuum eject system that's made in the U.S., 3D printed in our New England office. When you make your part, primarily for small parts that tend to get lost in something like a chip conveyor or your traditional part chute, you all end up getting, uh, we keep better track of them by having the subspindle come over and spit it into the vacuum tube. Uh, the very first component that generates the vacuum is one of the first 3D printed parts it would hit, and then that would generate a suction through the line vac that sends it through the tube into the collection unit here, where you can run it as either a timed eject or a sensor eject that can detect the part that has come in and shut off the vacuum. The funnel itself is used to kind of slow down the velocity of it to keep from damaging small and delicate parts. And then it ends up in the cup down here where you can see we've been running these all show. I'll show you the uh, part we've been running. They're kind of like a mock-up of a dental implant. And you know we wanted to show off the vacuum eject so we made some tiny parts that uh, people are gonna have to squint to see. Uh, well, I guess one of the main values would be that uh, it's really hard to run out of stock on something that we can just make in our own shop. Uh, we don't have to worry about shipping it from Japan or anything like that, so it'd be really difficult to run out of stock. Uh, me personally, I don't, I don't work in that office and don't print it, so I couldn't tell you how long it takes or what their process is, but I can tell you that it being local, I mean, I can't even tell you how many people at the show have come and I say, hey, it's made in the USA. And, all of a sudden that's a game changer for them just because they love to hear it, frankly.